The International Mobile Equipment Identity, or IMEI number, is a 15-digit number that serves as an industry standard unique identifier for mobile equipment. You can think of the IMEI as a fingerprint for your device. Now, one of the main reasons that we have the IMEI is that it allows us to control access to the network. For instance, if a device was stolen, the IMEI number could be added to a blacklist and the device would be unable to access the network. We may also do the same if there are technical reasons that a device cannot access the network. Now, the IMEI number consists of three parts. The TAC or type allocation codes, the serial number, and finally, the spare or check digit. And we'll go through each one of these in turn, starting with the TAC. So the TAC itself, the type allocation code, consists of two parts. The first two digits are the reporting body identifier. A reporting body simply being an organization within an area that is responsible for allocating IMEI numbers. The second part is the ME model identifier, and this identifies the manufacturer and model of a particular device. Moving on. So the serial number then, the serial number is used to uniquely identify a particular device. The serial number gives additional information, specific information about unique devices. So this is in addition to the ME model identifier, this gives more specific information about the device. Finally, the spare or check digit. Now prior to 2003, this digit was simply used as a spare and it had no particular purpose. Subsequent to that, it's now used as a check digit and it uses the Loon algorithm to ensure that the IMEI number itself is valid. And this can be particularly useful for things like uh, data inputs of validating the IMEI number when entering it to ensure that it's been entered correctly. Now the IMEI SV is a 16 digit number that consists of the same type allocation code and the same serial number. With the IMEI SV, the check digit is replaced with an SVN, a software version number. And this gives us information about which version of software the mobile device is running. So when the software itself is updated, the SVN itself will be incremented as well. So the IMEI and the IMEI SV both serve as unique identifiers to identify devices on the network.